Hi, I'm Kathy, the Adult Services Librarian at the Waynesville Library. And in this edition of What Should I Read Next, I would like to highlight for you some mystery and thriller award winners from 2021. So the first one that I want to tell you about is Blacktop Wasteland. This one uh, by S.A. Cosby won the Anthony Award. And it is about um, Beauregard Bug Montage, who is an honest mechanic, a loving husband, and a hardworking dad. But he used to be the best wheelman on the East Coast. He thought he'd left his life of crime behind him, but his carefully built new life begins to crumble, and he finds himself drawn back into a world of blood and bullets. When a smooth-talking former associate comes calling with a can't-miss jewelry store heist, Bugs feels that he has no choice but to get back into the driver's seat. Haunted by the ghost of who he used to be and the father who disappeared when he needed him the most, Bugs must find a way to navigate this blacktop wasteland or die trying. This book got great reviews and it, as I mentioned before, it did win the Anthony Award, so give this book a try. Louise Penny, everybody loves Louise Penny. This um, book is uh, her number 16 in the Inspector Gamache series, won the Agatha Award, which is a very prestigious mystery award. Um, Inspector Gamache watches as his billionaire godfather, Stephen Horowitz, is killed in what is obviously no accident, but it, it looks like a deliberate attempt on his life. When a strange key is found in Stephen's possession, it sends the inspector and his wife on a strange journey from the top of the Eiffel Tower to the Paris archives, from luxury hotels to odd coded works of art. Soon the whole family is caught up in a web of lies and deceit. In order to find the truth, Gamache will have to decide whether he can trust his friends, his colleagues, his instincts, and his own past. As usual, Louise Penny's books are very well received, and this one is no exception to that. This format here is the large print you can see. I just wanted to show you that we do have these books in various formats. The next one is in a format you may not be familiar with, but I'd like to show you, and that is called a digital audiobook. The book is already loaded up on this uh, MP3 player, basically, is all it is. You have to provide um, the earphones for this. So this book is We Begin at the End um, by Chris Whitaker. This is a great book. It won the CWA Gold Dagger Award. Um, it is about Duchess Day Radley a 13-year-old self-proclaimed outlaw and the fierce protector of her five-year-old brother, Robin, and also a parent to Mother Star, who is a single mom incapable of taking care of herself, let alone her two kids. Also in this story is Walk. He has never left the coastal California town where he and Star grew up, and he may have become the chief of police, but he's still trying to heal the old wound of having given testimony that sent his best friend, Vincent King, to prison decades before. He's in overdrive protecting Duchess and her brother, and now 30 years later, Vincent's being released. They must all face the trouble that comes with his return. We Begin at the End is an extraordinary novel about two kinds of families, the ones we're born into and the ones we create. And that one won the Gold Dagger Award. And the last one is The Gin Patrol on the Purple Line. This one uh, by Deepa Anapara won the Edgar Allan Poe Award. So that is also a very prestigious uh, mystery thriller award. Um, set in a sprawling Indian city, it's about a boy who ventures into the most dangerous corners of the city to find his missing classmate. He, Jai decides to use his crime-solving skills that he's picked up from TV to try to find his friends. He asks several friends to be his assistants and together they all draw up lists of people to interview and places to visit. What begins as a game turns sinister as other children start disappearing from their neighborhood. The children have to confront terrified parents, an indifferent police force, and rumors of soul-snatching jinns, which are spirits. Drawing on real incidents in a spate of disappearances in metropolitan India, Jin Patrol on the Purple Line is a triumph of suspense. It captures the fierce warmth, resilience, and bravery that can emerge in times of trouble and carries the reader headlong into the community that once encountered is impossible to forget. 
This one um, has also received very well, got great reviews, won several awards, but the most prestigious is the Edgar Allan Poe Award. So give these mysteries of 2021 a try. For a list of these books, you can access that at the library's webpage under the Niche Academy videos. And if you have any questions for me at all, don't hesitate to email me. Thanks so much for watching.